One day after he had become enlightened Buddha, went to the forest and took bath in the river. And after that, he sat under a tree in those times was a pleasant place to sit under an astrologer of great proficiency in his trade, came for a bath in the river, and saw a footprint on the riverbank. The astrologer was an expert in telling the past and future about a person by looking at his feet or their marks, he saw that these are the footprints of an emperor, someone who should rule the world, but then he wondered, why should such a person be in this remote place near a jungle? And he followed the footprint thinking that he will meet an emperor. Then he saw this monk god Amar Buddha sitting under a tree. He looked at him and thought either my astrology has gone all wrong. Or I am being fooled or I am in some kind of hallucination. What's happening here? He started crying and started saying that today, all of my astrology has failed. He went to Buddha and asked who are you Buddha said, I am nobody. I am just nobody. But you have the feet of an emperor. You should conquer the world said. The astrologer Buddhist smiled and said, I am the emperor of the world. The astrologer said, but you are a monk you own nothing. Buddha said, I own nothing and I am nobody. That is why everything is mine. The astrologer got confused after listening to Buddha and said, I am not able to understand what are you saying. Please explain to me. Astrologer was still crying. Buddha said you see my friend, there are two types of emperors in this world. One is who has conquered the whole world with power and oppression. And another one is who has conquered himself, who has conquered lust, anger, greed, attachment and ego within himself, one who has conquered the world. His empire will be lost one day, but the one who has conquered the enemies inside him, his empire will never end. Then Buddha went near that astrologer consoled him and said don't cry my friend. Your astrology has not failed. Because in reality, the real emperor is the one who has conquered all the enemies within himself. If you see our lives, we will find that we all give great importance to worldly things and pleasures. But whatever you achieve in this materialistic world, one day it will be taken away from you. But if you conquer your inner enemies, like lust, anger, greed, attachment, ego, go, then you will get such an infinite inner happiness that can never be taken away from you. However, it does not mean that you should not try to get materialistic things for pleasure, you can do it. But don't become so much used to these materialistic pleasures that tomorrow when they are taken away from you, you cannot live without them. Even if a person conquers the whole world, he will not be as happy as the person who has conquered his mind. Therefore, if you want to win something, then win over your enemies. Because in reality, the winner is the one who conquered his mind. This is Quotes and Stories. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.